talk again without even trying everything's so easy for you you're always thriving here i am walking down the street as i'm following you you bring a smile to everyone you meet but you really should know we're not all perfect like you oh baby you're so flawless i can't believe that it's true but you are a little thoughtless can't see what's right in front of you i'm on the other side drowning when you're so special i'm on the other side drowning drowning oh hey jessly how are you thank you for joining hope i said that right oh hi from the uk that's so cool i love it people think they know the real you at least at first sight takes me a while to open up let you in my life there you are walking down the street as i'm following you oh hi from florida oh my gosh i love it you bring a smile to everyone you meet but you really should know we're not all perfect like you bum bum oh baby you're so flawless I can't believe that it's true. Oh, hi, Callie. Oh, that's such a cute name. I love it. But you are a little thoughtless. Can't see what's right in front of you. I'm on the other side drowning. Oh, hi from California. Twins. California's the best. When you're so special. I'm on the other side drowning. Drowning. Forced to work it out. Oh, hi, Marie. Oh, such a cute name. I'm gonna need some space to breathe for someone so self assured. You're always clinging on me, and still you want us to believe. Oh, hi from Canada. Oh, I love Canada. I love your song, Smiling. Oh, thank you. I love that song too. That song is like super special to me, so that means the world that you listen. Thank you. Hey, random underscore things. Oh, should we do that one? I know that I gotta hide. Wish the world was on my side. Oh, hi, Zen. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Try to deal with everything. Many moments swaying from my mind. Can't even tell myself. How can I tell somebody else that I'm in misery and pain so insane? And it's driving me crazy. Right and wrong, I have to figure out. When I'm feeling up, life always brings me down. I'd rather be lost than ever be found. Try all they want, they'll never figure me out. People never care about who you are. Why would I show them all of my scars? Rather be lost than ever be found. Try all they want, they'll never figure me out. People never care about who you are. Why would I show them all of my scars? Keep you in the dark, hide you from my heart. Cause I'm smiling, yeah I'm smiling on the outside. Know it from the start, tearing me apart. But I'm dying, yeah I'm dying on the inside. Hi Brittany, beautiful name. It reminds me of Brittany Spears. And I love Brittany Spears. And then firework, I saw somebody say firework. Um, do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind wanting to start again do you ever feel feel so paper thin like a house of cards one blow from caving in do you ever feel already very deep six feet under screen when no one seemed to hear a thing do you know that there's still a chance for you because there's a spark in you you just gotta ignite the light and let it shine just on the night like the fourth of july cause baby you're a firework come on show them what you're worth make them go up 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 and just shoot across the sky I, I, boom, 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 even bright.
levitating. If you wanna levitate with me, I got a galaxy and I can take you for a ride. I got you, moonlight, starlight, star stripe. I need you on my, yeah, 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 yeah. I want you on my, starlight, star stripe. I need you all night, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I saw someone said olive oil. I love olive oil. Olive oil is one of my favorites because it feels like so good on my skin because I have like super dry skin. So it's not like on my skin, but when I have it, it just feels really good. It's like I'm craving it. Oh, make it shine. Um, Here I am once again, feeling lost, but now and then I breathe it in to let it go. You don't know where you are now, or what it would come to if only somebody would hear. When you figure out how you're lost in the moment, you disappear. You don't have to be afraid to put your dream in action. You're never gonna think you'll be the main attraction. Not a fantasy, just remember me when it turns out right. Cause you know that if you live in your imagination, tomorrow you'll be everybody's fascination. In my victory, just remember me when I make it shine. Oh, thank you, next. I love that one. The perfume looks so cool. I haven't smelled it, but I feel like it smells really good. La da 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 push on, but he wasn't a match. Wrote some songs about Ricky, now I listen and laugh. Even almost got married, and for Pete I'm so thankful. Wish I could say thank you to Malcolm, cause he is an angel. Once on me love, once on me patience. One tell me pain, now I'm so amazing. I've loved and I've lost, but that's not what I see. Look what I got, look what you taught me. And for that I say thank you, next. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. I'm so, I'm so grateful for my ex. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. And then RK, I always forget that one, but small town girl in a big RK. Oh! And is that how it goes? And then, uh, I'm struck in a losing game. That's how it goes, right? Kind of got it right? I need to listen to that song because it's so good. And like whenever I hear it on TikTok, so I feel like I only know popular songs now, like from like my For You page. But whenever I hear it, I'm like, oh. That song's so pretty, so I love it. But I feel like they don't play it on the radio that much. I wish they played it on the radio more. Oh, Taylor Swift, ooh, which one? I love all of hers. Loving in my side, driving a new Maserati down a dead end street. Faster than the wind, passion is this, and it's so suddenly. Touching him was like realizing all you ever wanted was right there in front of you. Um, are we getting an album? Definitely a lot of songs, and I'm working on like so, so many songs, like so many, because I have I've had so many song ideas lately, and I've been writing a lot, so definitely a lot coming. Oh, Selena Gomez. Ooh, which one? All of her songs are so good. Um. We'd always go into it blindly. I needed to lose you to find me. This dancing was killing me softly. I needed to hate you to love me. Yeah. To love, love, to love, love, yeah, to love, yeah. I needed to lose you to love me. I promised the world and I fell for it I put you first and you adored it Set fire to my forest And you let it burn Sing off key my chorus Oh, Michael Jackson, oh, that's fun Um, with the thriller Thriller time Oh, and then I also love the Tell me why, why Tell them that it's human nature, why why 
Does he do it that way? Or I'm gonna make a change for once in my life. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message couldn't be any clearer. If you wanna make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. And then Miley Cyrus, which Miley Cyrus song? There's so many good ones. Um, I love Next to You in Malibu. Next to you, ah 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 Everybody has those days. One, two, three, four. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. Yeah, sometimes I'm in a jam. I gotta make a plan. It might be crazy. I do it anyway. No way to know for sure. I figure out a cure. I'm trying to be delicate, then crash right into it. But my intentions are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes just misunderstood. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it again and again till I get it right. Nobody's perfect, you live and you learn it. And if I mess it up sometimes, nobody's perfect. Nicki Minaj, which one should we do? I love all her songs. She's like, she's flawless. Like the Beyonce one, flawless. I woke up like this, I woke up like this, um, but I always love Let's go to the beach each, let's go get away. They say what they're gonna say. Have a drink, blink, got him round on. Hard to come by in a show, um, let's go get it on. Two, three, me and a good two. I'ma blow all my money. I'm on the floor, floor. It's your last chance if you want more, more. Then here I am. Starships were meant to fly. Hands up and touch the sky. Can't stop, cause we're so high. Let's do this one more time. Starships were meant to fly. How tall are you? I'm pretty short. Unfortunately, I'm only five foot. I thought I grew and I measured myself, but I didn't. Cause I was thinking like maybe with all the nutrition that I would like grow to like five one or five two. I always wanted to be five three, but unfortunately we didn't make it. But, yeah, five foot. <laughs> but it would be cool if I grew. Wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, I'm not counting on it because that's probably not going to happen. But it would be really, really cool if it did. Oh, Ariana Grande. I love when life deals us cards. Make everything taste like it is so. Then you come through like the sweet. Now you ought to bring a bit of taste. To hold and then you get it, get it, get it, get it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, mix it, mix it, mix it, miss it, mix it and mix it and mix it and miss it. That's a fun one. Um, can you sing one of Lady Gaga? Absolutely. And that's a good height. Thank you. I agree. I actually used to like hate being short, but now I really embrace it and I like being short. And I'm like, you know what? I'm fun sized. It's cool. Oh, and then Senorita. Oh, I do. I love it when you call me Senorita. I wish I could pretend I didn't eat ya. But every touch is ooh la la la. It's true ooh la la la. And then what Lady Gaga song should we do? Um, I want to hold them like they do in Texas, please. Hold him, let him hit me, raise a baby, stay with me, I love it. Russian roulette is not the same without a gun. And baby, when it's rough, it isn't rough, it isn't fun. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 I'll get him hot, show him what I got. Carry my, carry my, no, he can't read my poker face. He's got 
me like nobody can remember, can remember. I know he can read my poker face. He's got me like nobody. But 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 poker face, but but poker face. Oh, cowboy Casanova. Oh, I love that one. You better take it from me. That boy is like a disease. He's a good time cowboy casting over, raising up against the Reagan machine. He looks like a cool drink of water, but he's candy golden, Miss Ellery. He's a devil in disguise, a snake with blue eyes, and he only comes out at night. Get your feelings that you don't want to hide, you better run for your life. Went to the unknown, into the unknown, into the unknown, into the unknown. I don't really know any. Oh, Harry Styles, watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high. On a melon sugar high, and I still love them. Don't stop your crying, it's the sign of the times. Can you say a Christmas song? I wonder what my favorite Christmas song is. Last Christmas, oh, it's Christmas in July. <laughs> I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Once bitten and twice shy, I keep my distance. Oh, defining gravity? Oh, yeah. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too long I've been afraid of losing love. I guess I'm lost, but if it's love, that comes at much too high a cost. I think I'll try to find gravity. Kiss me goodbye. I'm defying gravity. And oh, the one that got away. Summer after high school, when we first met, we make out in your Mustang to Radiohead. And on my 18th birthday, we got matching tattoos. Whoa. Used to steal your parents' liquor and climb to the roof. Talk about a future like we had a clue. Never planned on one day I'd be losing you. In another But it's like a million dreams, a million things. Na, 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 na. The world is open anything tonight. Is that how it goes, or did I completely get that wrong? I may have completely gotten that wrong. Then you broke me first. I don't know if that song. I, I've heard part of it, but it's like, you broke me first. Or how can you say I'm broken too? You broke me first. Is that how it goes? Or did I get it wrong? I'm so bad at current songs. It's like I know the old songs, and then it's like the new ones. I, I need to listen to more music. Really, I need music suggestions so I like learn them. Oh, blow your mind. Mwah. If you don't like the way I rock them, why am I on your mind? If you don't like the way I rock them, why am I on your mind? We fight and we argue, we dun 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 dun. If you don't like the way I rock them, why don't you blow your mind? I love Don't Stop. Don't, um, don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. I love that one. Of, don't show up, don't come out. Don't stop caring about me now. Oh, begging, you got me begging, begging you. Put your loving in now, baby. Begging, begging you. Put your loving in now. When you 
gonna tell her that we did that too. She thinks it's special. Do you get deja vu? Do you get deja vu? And then maybe I'm too emotional because you didn't give me a chance at all. Maybe I'm too emotional. Well, good for you, when you're feeling happy, healthy, not me. If you didn't care, na 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 I need the lyrics. Oh yeah, thunder, read the thunder. Oh, rewrite the songs. I was literally listening to that song today. You know I want you. It's not a secret, I try. By the way, is The Greatest Showman good? Because I know that song, but I haven't seen the movie but I feel like I'd really like it. And Zac Efron's in it, and like, not gonna lie, he's like totally my celebrity crush, so. I mean, I grew up on Tro Troy Bolton, you know. So why don't we rewrite the stars? Oh, Billie Jean. Billie Jean is not my lover. He's just a girl, and what did I am the one? Oh, break up with your girlfriend? You got me some type of way. Practically on my knees, yeah, yeah. And I know you're probably thinking about it. Then I realize she's right there. And I'm at home like, man, this ain't fair. Break up with your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, because I'm bored. You can hit it in the morning. Yeah, yeah, like it's yours. Oh, fight song. Like a small boat. On the ocean, sending big waves into motion. Like I'm a single word, can make a heart open. I might only have one match, but I can make an explosion. All those things I didn't say, wrecking balls inside my brain. I won't scream it loud tonight. Can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm alright song. My power's turned on. Starting right now, I'll be strong. I'll play my fight song. And I don't really care if nobody else believes. Cause I still got a lot of fun left in me. Cup song, oh my gosh, I love that, cause I love that movie. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my walk. You're gonna miss me when I talk, oh. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. When I'm gone, when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me anywhere, but you're sure gonna miss me when I'm gone. Oh, I'm um, Shape of You, oh yeah. I'm in love with the shape of you. Push and pull like a magnitude. Now my heartbeats smell like you. I'm in love with your body. Oh, Over the Rainbow, oh, I love that one. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I've heard of. I'll make an acapella of um, fight song. Oh, for sure. I love singing that song. It's so encouraging. It's like just like the best song ever. Oh, you say. You say I am strong when I can't hear a thing. You say I am held when I am falling short. Yes, I believe. I, oh, I believe. What did you say to me? Yes, I believe. You had my heart and will never be worlds apart. Maybe in magazine, but you'll still be my star, baby. Cause in the dark, we can't see shiny cars. And that's when you need me there, with you I'll always share. Because 
When the sun shone, we'll shine together. Told you I'll be here forever. Said I'll always be your friend. Took an oath, I'ma stick it out till the end. Now that it's raining more than ever, know that we'll still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, 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 under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, eh. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take those broken wings and learn to fly. That's how it goes, right? Blackbird time. Into the light in the dead of your eyes. I need to know that song better and listen to it because that song is so pretty and just so, so good and makes me so happy. Oh yeah, you make me a, you make me a believer, believer, ooh, I'll let your fire burn and turn to who, the heart goes, da na 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 who, am I getting it confused, but I know the part, the, you make me a, you make me a believer, believer, oh sheer believe, oh I love that song. Do you believe in life after love? I can feel something inside me say I really don't think you're strong enough, no Do you believe in life after love? Cher is such a queen, I just have to say Like she's such a queen Oh, friend's theme song? Oh, yes Da, 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 da So no one told you life was gonna be this way Your job's a joke, you're broke Your love life be alright It's like you're always stuck in second gear When it hasn't been your day, your year, your month Or even your year Cause I'll be there for you When the rain starts to fall, I'll be there for you. Were you there for me too? There's a fire starting in my heart. Reaching a fever bitch and it's bringing me out the dark. Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Go ahead and sell me out and I'll lay your ship here. The scars of your love remind me of us They keep me thinking that we almost had it all The scars of your love, they leave me breathless I can't help feeling we could have had it all Rolling in the deep You had my heart inside But you played it to the beat And then butter Not and then oh no no here tonight Smooth like butter Like a criminal undercover And it dun 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 and it others Dun 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 Honestly that's like my favorite song ever I'm actually obsessed with it I need to listen to it But it's like Let it go up Oh chandelier oh yes Body girls, don't get hurt, can't feel anything When will I learn? I push it down, push it down One, two, three, one, two, three, drink One, two, three, one, two, three, drink One, two, three, one, two, three, drink Throw them back till I lose count I'm gonna swing from the chandelier From the chandelier It's a fun one to sing. 
Oh, you have an angel's voice. Oh, that means the world. Thank you for being so sweet. I really appreciate you being so nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, hi. Um, let me try to read it right. Uh, uh, Arian is so queen. Did I say that right? Any musical songs? Oh, I love musical songs. Um, I love, um, this is such a cheesy one, but Good morning, Baltimore And someday when I take to the floor The world's gonna make up and Or sorry, wake up, not make up Wake up and see Baltimore and me I love that one so much I would love it if you sing Oceans, if you know it I've been asked to sing that song so much But I really need to learn it and I'm sure it's a beautiful song because I know, like, Hillsong has a lot of good songs. I know Good, Good Father by them, which I love. Your good, good father, it's who you are, it's who you are, what I love about you. Oh, Annie, it's a hard not life for us. It's a hard not life for us. Santa dreaming, we get tricked. Santa kissing, we get hicked. Is that the, I don't think that's a word. It's a hard not life. And then there's, oh, popular. Oh, I love that one. Whenever I see someone less fortunate than I, and let's face it, who isn't? Less fortunate than I, my tender heart tends to start to bleed. And when someone needs a makeover, I simply have to take over. I know, I know. Exactly what they need and even in your case though it's the toughest case i've yet to face don't worry i'm determined to succeed follow my lead and yes indeed you will be popular you're gonna be popular I'll teach you the proper poise When you talk to boys Little ways to flirt and flounce Who will show you what shoes to wear How to fix your hair Everything that really counts to be popular It's all about popular oh, Astronaut in the ocean um, What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb And I get you what you please no, 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 You will go far in nice voice. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. I don't know every song impressive. I don't know every song. So I feel bad when I don't know the songs, but I do listen to a lot of music. <laughs> so for sure, I mean, music is the best. I don't know how some people don't listen to music, to be honest. You know, I just feel like you gotta listen to it. And it's like, do are there people who don't listen to music in the world? I feel like everybody kind of listens. It's everywhere. Oh, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the seed. Oh, sea, sorry, not seed, sea. Um, do you know any Paramore? Paramore, I know the misery business. She's got a body like an hourglass, it's ticking like a clock. Whoa, whatever have been bad, but I gotta wear a water now. Whoa, it was never my intention to brag, but I gotta wear a water now. And oh, does it feel so good? It's gonna feel so good. Jesus loves you. Oh, thank you. Jesus loves you too. Jesus is the best and just so awesome. Oh, rise up. I will rise up. I will rise up again. I will rise up. I will rise like the wind. I will rise up. That's kind of all I know of that song. But I know it's supposed to be a really good song. I should know it. Um, I don't know Mother Knows Best by Tangled. I didn't even know that there were songs in Tangled. I only saw Tangled once, like a couple years ago, but I didn't know that there were songs in it and that it was a musical. How is it? Mother Knows Best, Mother Knows Best. Is that how it goes? But by the way, Tangled is an awesome movie. I love it. Really good movie. Underrated. Enchanted with Amy Adams. Iconic. So, so good. I love it so much. A Little Mermaid. Um... I want to be where the people are, I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them, oh, feet, up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free, wish I could be part of that world. What would I give to spend a day up in the sand? Bed 
to on land. They'd understand that they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. I want to be where the people are. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it? What's the word burn? When's it my turn? Oh, how do you know? Oh, I love that one. How do you know that you love her? How do you show her you really, really, truly love her? Everybody runs and found a little happy after. How do you know she loves you? That's how you know she's yours. How about you take a little chance and run her where the water goes? Na 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 You'll find happy after a little bit every day. That's how you know. That's how you know she's your love. Oh, Harry Styles. Just stop your crying. It's a sign of the times. Welcome to the final show. I hope you're wearing your best clothes. You can't bribe your door on the way to the sky. We never learn, we've been running from the bullets. The bullets. Oh, heart attack. Oh, I love that one. You make me blow. But a cover up won't let it show. So I'm putting my defenses out Cause I don't want to fall in love If I ever did that, I think I'd have a heart attack I think I'd have a heart attack Bohemian Rhapsody Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught on a landslide no escape from reality open your eyes look up to the skies and see i'm just a poor boy i need no sympathy tell me easy come easy go little high little low oh barbie girl that's a fun one i'm a barbie girl in a Barbie world, life and plastic, it's fantastic. You can brush my hair, undress me anywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. Come on, Barbie, let's go, party. Oh, love song by Selena. It's been said and done. Every beautiful thought's been already sung. And I guess right now, here's another one. So your melody will play on and on to the best of all you are beautiful like a dream come alive incredible a sinful miracle lyrical you saved my life again and i want you to know baby i i love you like a love song baby i i love you like a love song baby I, I love you like a love song, baby. And I keep hitting my peep, 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 peep. Oh, 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 ooh, One Direction. Nobody can drag me down. Nobody, nobody. Nobody can drag me down. Oh, Lover by Taylor Swift. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Have I known you 20 seconds or 20 years? Can I go? Where you go, can we always be this close? Forever and ever and I take me out, take me home. You're my, 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 my lover. Ladies and gentlemen, will we please stay?
take this magnetic force of a man to be my lover. Your heart's been borrowed and mine has been blue. All swell to end well to end up with you. Swear to be over dramatic and true to my lover. And you'll save all your dirtiest jokes for me. And at every table, I'll save you a seat, lover. Ooh, kiss me up before you go. Summertime sadness. Oh my gosh, a freckle in the air. Nothing scares me anymore. I got that summertime, summertime sadness. I got that summertime, summertime sadness. Just just a summertime, summertime sadness. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good. One Direction. Oh, hi, Marin. Did I say your name right? Well, thank you for being so sweet. I hope you have an amazing day. Um, and then, you're insecure. Don't know what for. You're turning heads when you walk through the door. Don't need makeup to cover up. Being the way that you are is enough. Everyone else in the room can see it. Everyone else but you. Ooh, baby, you light up my world like nobody else. The way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed. The way you smile at the crowd, it ain't hard to tell. You don't know, oh, oh. You don't know you're beautiful. If only you saw what I could see, you'd understand why I want you so desperately. Right now I'm looking at you and I can't believe you don't know, oh, oh. You don't know you're beautiful, oh, oh. That's what makes you beautiful. And then all too well, oh, I love that one. I walked through the door with you. The air was cold, but something about it felt like home somehow. When I left your scarf there at your sister's house, but you still got it in your drawer. Even now, and I know it's long gone, and there was nothing else I could do, and I forget about you long enough to forget why I needed to. Cause there we are again on that little town street. You almost ran the red, and cause you were looking over me. Wind in my hair, I was there, I remember it all too well, yeah. Cause there we are again when I loved you so. Back before you lost the one real thing you'd ever known. It was rare, I was there, I remember it. Oh yes, dangerous woman. Nothing to prove it, I'm fully proofing. Know what I'm doing? Oh, that you got skin to skin. Oh my gosh, don't you stand by? Something about you makes me feel like a dangerous woman. Something about, something about, something about you makes me wanna do things that I should earn. Something about, something about, something about. All girls wanna be like that. Bad girls underneath like that. You know how I'm feeling inside. I just wanna be like that. Bad girls underneath like that. Oh, thank you for being nice. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the, all the love. You're all like just the best and so supportive and like so, so kind. You're losing again. Are you okay? Can I help you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Basically, it was just like hard because I was on the feeding tube for so long and then I was off the feeding tube. And so I was used to being on the feeding tube and plus eating. So, but then it was harder like without the feeding tube, but now I'm doing a lot better. And basically I'm monitoring my weight again because when I got home from the hospital, I was just kind of like, Oh, like I don't want to count calories. Like I don't want to have to get on a scale. Like I don't even want to think about that or worry about that. Like I just want to eat 
what I want and how much I want and just like not make it hard. But it is a critical time, so I think it's important to get on a scale. And I also feel like in a place mentally where like I can get on a scale and won't get like too obsessive about it. So I feel in a really good place and I just feel like really, really motivated and very like I really realize like how serious the situation is and how important it is to like take care of yourself for sure. So I'm doing a lot better, which is awesome. And it reminds me of a song called Healthy. You sent me right in the back, it was a vicious attack and I get stuck to your cruelness. I try to give you some slack, but good luck handling that. It's causing me so much sadness. Who was the victim? Who was the villain? Hiding under a spell. Who is twisted? Who is willing? Sometimes I can't tell. There's way too much confusion here beyond a simple truth. There's more to love than hope and fear that I don't see in you. I gave you every single tear till there was nothing left to lose. Now I finally see this will never be healthy, healthy, healthy. Healthy. Thank you so much for being honest for us. Of course, I feel like it's kind of like a responsibility because I never want to trigger every anybody and I always want to like send a good message because I know a lot of people who follow me have the same struggles and it's like not a fun struggle to deal with. It's like the worst thing ever. Like honestly, if you like, like never get an eating disorder, if you can I mean it's hard because it's the type of thing where it's not a choice sometimes it just happens but like it ruins your life so like be very careful and yeah like be careful because it's so not worth it like at all it stinks like and like it's so terrible when people glamorize it and like I never want to be somebody who glamor glamorizes it at all because like nothing about it is glamorous like being in the hospital with the feeding tube is not glamorous and like being super depressed and not eating is not glamorous it's like torture and terrible and mental torture like there's nothing cool about it there's nothing fun about it so be careful and don't yeah just like be healthy and do what your doctors say and stuff and know that it's so not worth it you know, it really isn't. Um, yeah, are you still in the hospital? No, I'm not in the hospital. Um, I was released on home health and then I have like a plan of like all the medication I need to take, how many calories to eat a day and like my goal weight and stuff like that. So that's really good. So that's really helpful. Have you hit any of your goals yet? Honestly, it's kind of a goal thing that's gonna take a long time because they want me to gain weight, but they don't want me to gain weight too, too fast to fully shock the system because I started at like a dangerously low weight and then I got refeeding syndrome. And so I just kind of had to gain the necessary amount of weight just to live really quickly. And now I still have to gain weight, but take it slow. Cause if I do it too fast, you know, I don't want to get like refeeding again, but definitely keeping it like very slow and steady and also just listening to my body. And luckily I do have extreme hunger, which is actually a blessing because you know, it gets my appetite sti um, stimulated. So then I'm very motivated and I just am motivated. And sometimes also have moments where like, I feel weak and stuff like that. And so then that really motivates me to eat, to feel better for sure. You have the best eyebrows. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You need to gain about 50 pounds. Yeah, I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, I think so, if I do the calculations. Although I don't wanna like explain weight or anything because that's very triggering, you know? And weight is so, so different for everybody. What foods do you like the most? I really like peanut butter. I would say I like peanut butter probably the most. I like yogurt a lot. And then what else? Like I love cauliflower. Cauliflower is really good. And then what else? I eat a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's really what I do. Um, 
Yeah, refeeding isn't a risk as long as your nutrition. Yeah, see, I got refeeding syndrome, but I'm hoping that, like, I'm over it. And it's good. And because I feel like it's good, and I feel like my body is, like, reacting pretty well to the food. Because I can tell, like, when I eat more, I have a lot more energy. So I think it's doing really well. But I also just think at this point, like, there's still so much damage that needs to be, like, you know, that, like, there's so many organs in, like, my brain that just, like, needs the calories so bad that I think I'm, like, burning them really fast right now, but that really helps. Oh, I like peanut butter and oatmeal. Oh, I've had that. That's, like, super good. That's really, really good. That tastes so good. Honestly, oatmeal is the best. Like, I love oatmeal so much. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I mean, I still have, like, days where, like, I have, like, health issues and stuff, but it's getting better, and it's also about like keeping a positive attitude and just taking care of yourself because I think with like a lot of stuff a lot of it is just self-care and about taking care of yourself and just like yeah self-care and finding things that work for you even like I notice like heat treatments help me a lot like a lot because it really helps like my swelling and it helps my muscles and if I get like achy or have pain so that helps so so much it's my favorite drink. My favorite drink is ginger ale. I'm obsessed with ginger ale because I, this is embarrassing to say, but I I get a lot of stomach aches and like have a lot of stomach issues and ginger ale like always helps my stomach if I don't feel well. I don't know why. Maybe it's the carbonation. Maybe it's the ginger, but it feels really, really well. Oh, hi, Aubrey. Oh, I love that name, Aubrey. It's so pretty. I know I always say that. I'm always like, oh, I love that name, but I really do. Have you tried boba yet? No, I haven't. I need to, though, because I'm a huge tea person. I love tea, especially black tea and green tea, but I'm more of an iced tea person. I'm not really a hot tea person, but I love it so much. Oh, you look so much healthier. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Sending greetings from the East Coast. That's so cool. I love the East Coast. Like, I feel like the East Coast just has, like, a really cool, nice vibe. It's just, like, it's awesome. Honestly, sometimes I think East Coast is better than West Coast, and I live on the West Coast, but I mean... Both are good. Try boba tea, it's the best. What does it taste like? Like, do the bubbles make it taste weird? Because I'm not, oh, oolong tea is great. Oh yeah, isn't that good for sleep? Howdy from Oklahoma. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, When I was little, I used to be obsessed with Oklahoma and I wanted to live there. And I was like, do you know what the life would be if I moved to Oklahoma and could live on like a farm or a ranch? That would be so cool. And it was like my dream when I was little. So I was like, that would be so, so awesome. Um, the bubbles are chewy, so good. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. The bubbles. So you eat the, so they're edible. That's awesome. You honestly seem like the nicest person. Oh, thank you. I mean, I try to be nice. I'm not nice all the time, unfortunately, because I'm not perfect. And we all have our moments. Like, you know, when you have those moments where it's like you do something not nice and you're like, that was terrible apologize but I always try to repent and apologize if I do something not mean or if I get a little sassy you know I try to apologize so we all we all have our moments you know have you tried chia drinks I love chia I love chia seeds chia seeds are like so so awesome because see I really like flaxseed but I'm allergic so I tend to do chia seeds instead of flax and chia chia is awesome um I have to go to dinner. Bye. Oh, bye. You have such a soothing voice. You could do ASMR. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. It's weird. I feel like my voice and my eyebrows somehow tend to be very controversial, where some people love my voice and they're like, do ASMR, and other people are like, you sound like a five-year-old. You need to grow up. And then same with my eyebrows. Some people are like, your eyebrows are perfect. Don't touch them. And other people are like, please fix your eyebrows. But you know what? You just have to do you because <laughs> everybody's going to have... An opinion so yeah um what's your favorite thing about yourself what was my favorite thing about myself I don't know well I'm I guess that I try to be empathetic because I think I just think empathy is like the most important thing and like the best quality that a person can have because everybody's going through stuff and I just think it's super important to like be sensitive to that and like treat other people the way they want to be treated and like ask them how they are you know like when you're in a conversation like not just talking about yourself or like being mindful of what you say around a person like especially if you know they're going through something or like if they have depression or anxiety like being mindful of that I just think is like 
so important. So I always try to do that. How's the songwriting going? The songwriting's going so good. I've been having a lot of ideas lately and it's been so, so fun because just songwriting is like such a fun creative expression. And it's just like, I don't know. It's just like when you can put your song, like words and how you feel into a song, I just feel like it's so beautiful. And it's like it's such a great way to express yourself. And then it's like you have that song forever and it's like timeless and it lives forever. And it's just the coolest thing ever. So I love it so, so much. Um. How have you been recently? Are you having a good day? Yeah, today I'm having a really good day. Today's been really, really fun. Favorite music artist slash band? I love Taylor Swift. The Carpenters are so amazing. Carole King, Madonna, Britney Spears, and like Kanye West, BTS, um, Blackpink as well. They're just awesome. I honestly love everybody. Rihanna, totally Rihanna. I've been listening to a lot of Rihanna lately. I've also been listening to a lot of Beyonce, but yeah. Oh, one last time. I was a liar, I gave into the fire. I know I should have found it, at least I'm being honest. Felt like a failure, cause I know that I failed you. I should have been more careful, but you don't want a liar. And I know, and I know, and I know that you got everything. And boy, I couldn't give it to you. Oh, <laughs> you wait, you like BTS, Dan, you? Yes. I totally stand BTS. I just like think they're so cool. And they have such good personalities and they're so awesome. Their songs are so good. Their music videos, their performances. I love it. Anyways. <laughs> one last time I need to be the one that takes you home. One more time I promise after that I let you go. Baby, I don't care if you got her in your heart. All I really care is you wake up in my arms. One last time, I need to be the one that takes you home, yeah. What's one thing you would say to your past self? This might sound harsh. This might sound harsh, but girl, you're so stupid. <laughs> I know that's mean. I know that's mean. But, you know, sometimes you need to hear the truth, you know? And you need to be like, girl, like, stop stressing out. You're anxious for no reason. Like, everything's fine. Stop being so anxious. Like, stop. You don't have to be anxious. Like, enjoy it, you know? Because I feel like you waste so much energy and time being anxious, and then you look back and you're like, that was a great time. I could have been enjoying it, and you wasted it being anxious. Like, why did you do that? Why are you your own worst enemy? Stop, you know? So I think that's what I would tell my old self. I'm obviously very frustrated with my old self, but you know what? The past is the past and you have to like leave it in the past and then just keep going forward. Do you feel your voice has improved since recovery? I hope so. Sometimes I have a hard time telling, but I hope so because my breath control has definitely got a lot better because I remember in the end it was so hard where like I couldn't even really sing with tracks because it would be going too fast and like I was so tired and like emancipated and exhausted that like I wouldn't be able to keep up with the tracks and like my timing would be off and I'd be live and like I would know my timing would be off and I'd be like this is so embarrassing like you sound so bad <laughs> or like my breath control would be out so I'd be like <sighs> And like the breath control still isn't fully where it was, but I feel like every day it's getting better. Cause even with my words sometimes, like I notice myself still like slurring my words a little bit, but I'm hoping that it'll just get better every day, you know? I'm struggling eating, I keep losing weight. I feel you, I've been there, but just try to be as motivated as possible and try to enjoy it. Cause you know, eating is fun, you know? So like really make it fun and also, Having a schedule really helps, like like whether it's eating every two hours or just like finding out times to eat or finding like calorie dense foods, liquid calories help a lot, like protein shakes and protein bars and like really calorie dense foods, that helps a lot for sure. Favorite Disney movie? Probably Enchanted or the Hannah Montana movie or Lizzie McGuire or Cinderella or another Cinderella story, or a Cinderella story, any of the Cinderella movies, because Cinderella is my favorite, and Rapunzel. I know, I'm really into Disney princesses. Well, the, honestly, the only 
two Disney princesses that I'm like really into are Cinderella and Rapunzel and The Little Mermaid. I would say those are like my three favorites. Just talking about this trigger you love, honestly, I think it helps because I think it helps me process it and I think it helps me get better, you know, because it's still a process and I feel like it's like, I don't want to be negative at all, but I feel like it's somewhat of like a lifelong thing where you're always kind of going to deal with it, but like, I don't want to, like, I really want to get over it. So I feel like it really motivates me to like put in the work in now. So I like fully get over it and just can live and don't even worry, have to worry about a relapse. Cause that's the goal. You know, that would be amazing. That would be so, so amazing. If you could dye your hair any color, what color would it be? I would dye my hair blonde because I've always wanted to be a blonde and I think it's really fun. Any foods for really bad cramps? Honestly, sometimes food gives me really bad cramps. And even like today I was having really bad cramps, so I feel you. Um, but I don't really know any foods that help cramps, but water seems to help me my cramps a lot. I know salt helps, like salt's supposed to help cramps, and then also heating pads help a lot. Cause like cramps are so painful. It's so annoying. It's like, ugh. It's the worst. How long have you battled this? I don't know, like, it, it's honestly kind of been like my whole entire life, like not gonna lie. But I would say it got really, really bad about a year ago. Like a year ago is when it started getting like really dangerous and just like dangerous, you know? So if that makes sense. Can you sing? Sure. Um, what song? Round you, everything's a mess, putting me through so much stress, thinking you're the one. You make me feel so controlled, when I'm with you I get cold. Oh, favorite candy is definitely Reese's Pieces, although I have to do the dark chocolate because the milk chocolate like hurts my teeth a lot, but the dark chocolate's really good. Or Kit Kats, yeah. Sweet talker, no sugar, I can't handle the ups and the downs. Oh, I have severe stomach pain where I've almost passed out. That happens to me too. Oh my gosh, I totally feel you. Just happened in 2020. God is healing me. Such a blessing. God can really heal. Like, God can heal. And I know, like, stomach pains and, like, gastro issues are the worst. Like, it would be so embarrassing at the doctor because, like, my stomach is so bad that it's, like, if a doctor tries to touch my stomach, I, like, flinch away, like, really freaky because it's, like, so painful so like I totally feel you stomach pain is the worst like it's so annoying and it's so hard to find things that work for it pepsid helps a lot though I take so much pepsid and it really really helps especially for like eating and getting down food it helps a lot can you sing on and off oh yeah oh her perfect life was going so well like a dream that never ends but it will then start again Yes, I didn't got me under your spell Even after all this time I still question if they're lies Are you looking for a problem? Are you trying to get sick of me? There ain't nobody as awesome Let's just agree to disagree Oh baby, we go on and off, on and off Will we ever make up our minds? I wanna know on and off, on and off Will we ever get off this ride? I wanna know on and off Oh, Titanium? Oh, I love that one. You show me down, but I won't fall I am Titanium You show me down, but I won't fall I am Titanium. Hi from the UK. Oh, that's so cool. I love it so much. Do you understand how strong and good you will be when you are 100%? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for comments like that. Comments like that like really keep me going. So I really appreciate it. Um, what's your dream country to go to? My dream country, probably either UK or Portugal or, or Indonesia or Australia, or Denmark, or Sweden, or Norway, or Spain, or Ireland, really anywhere. South Africa too, Japan, South Korea, yeah. 
Egypt. Egypt would be cool. You know, the pyramids? I feel like they'd be really cool. Any tips on recovering from an ED? I'm struggling. Keep your head up. I think the number one thing is just like facing your fear. Like I said, exposure therapy. It's just like you need to push yourself to do stuff. And because it depends on what your issues are. And like you also just have to be self-aware and like know what your issues are. Like is your issue eating alone? If it is, then try to eat alone. Are you scared of this food? Then eat that food and realize it's not that scary or like if you have a problem with counting calories try to go the day without counting calories or like if you have issues eating around people like try to go out to eat with friends and like just learn how to do that and just really like think of the things like your ed like this is what i've been doing it's like think of the things that your ed has taken away from you like like for me it was like my singing voice like my social life like driving just having a life in general and so then like little by little getting that back and like having goals by being like when I do like when I am better I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this and like think of all the things you want to do and like what it's been stopping you and then also I think another thing is like like figuring out what your triggers are and avoiding them at first and then I think as you get stronger you can kind of face your triggers and hopefully get over them but like at first just kind of blocking out those triggers and another huge thing is like not comparing your body to other people's body I think like I think that's huge and also knowing it's not your fault because like personally like I dealt with like a lot of guilt like especially when I was in the hospital like I just felt like so guilty and like it was like all my fault and like I was just like a terrible person and I had to realize that like what happened was awful but it wasn't my fault and that's like another person and another voice in my head and you just need to tell that voice to like go away and be like that's not me that's somebody else and I'm not going to deal with you today. Like, you are the devil. No. No. Go away. You're a liar. So, yeah. That's a weird way to put it. But I think that helps a lot. Do you ever pluck your eyebrows? I do sometimes. But I haven't in a while. <laughs> should I? Should I? Maybe I should. Yes, we all struggle. Yeah, and I think it's a day-by-day -day um, process and also keeping it good. And also, what's really good is, like, to look at people who've recovered and like see what they've like what they've accomplished and what they've done or how it hasn't stopped their life or how they're happier now I think that helps a lot and even like even looking at like the sad stories of like people with EDs who've passed away which I know is so sad but and also using that as like and especially for me being like I'm so lucky that like I didn't pass away and God's given me like a second chance and I'm not gonna mess that up. So I think looking at it from that perspective is also really helpful. And then also just like being, you know, and also like the motivation. Cause even if you haven't like been to the hospital or had a feeding tube, you don't wanna go to the hospital and you don't want a feeding tube. So I think keeping that in mind and being like, you know, like if I'm gonna, keep doing this, that's going to be my life, or, like, I'm going to have to be in and out of hospitals forever, and life is just way too short to live that way, so I think remembering that, like, I do not want that to be my life helps a lot, because it's, like, I never in a million years thought that that was going to happen, like, never, because it started out, like, so innocently, so I think remembering that, and remembering that it can happen to anybody, because I would, like, hear other stories of that happening to people but like I never thought it would happen to me but it can happen to anybody so you just you don't know this story kind of reminds me of the act on Hulu oh I've never seen that is it is it like about eating disorders and stuff the Car carpenter story is sad Karen Carpenter was so talented yeah she tried to heal from an ED I know and honestly she's like my favorite singer ever and I listened to her like my whole life and grew up listening to her and she's like one of my main inspirations and even like I thought about her a lot in the hospital and just like how devastating that story was and just like how she deserved to live and how like evil EDs are because they really are like so so evil and it's so hard because it's so hard for the person who's struggling but then it's also so hard for like the people around you and so it's just like a really terrible illness like I would not wish it on anybody for sure 
What's been your biggest milestone in your journey of recovery? I think my biggest milestone has been being able to like, like eat and kind of like not feel well after or like have a stomach ache or like have health issues but keep eating. Cause before it would be like if I would eat but then like I would get some type of, you know, stomach ache or like, or like my throat would tickle or like my lips would be weird or like swelling or itching. Like I wouldn't, I would just stop eating. But then I kind of realized like for at this point for me, I have to continue. And so I think that's been the biggest part of being like, I know you don't feel that well right now, but like you just have to get through it. And like the more you eat, the better it will get and things will get better. So I think that probably helps the most or like, yeah, or like eating a lot and not feeling guilty after. I think that's a huge thing because like, I used to feel really guilty after, but now I'm like, you know what? We got to make up for lost time <laughs> and I need it. So I think not being guilty is like a huge thing for sure. Sing, um, what song should I sing? Um, lately I've seen another side of you, side of you. So many hoops you're trying to put me through, put me through. I wish I could see a point of view, point of view. Oh, why did it take you so long to admit you had an ED? So I always knew I had an ED and basically, but basically what I thought is when I was like at my lowest weight, I thought that mentally I was over the ED because like I'd had it really bad, like, like last year. And like at that point, like my behaviors were really dangerous and really ED like, but then I, I'd quit all like my bad behaviors, like full force and was like, I'm not getting on the scale, I'm not counting calories, I'm not doing this unhealthy stuff and like living this unhealthy lifestyle and I'm gonna eat. But then basically all the like health stuff started happening and like, and then I just like couldn't eat really a lot. So then I just stopped eating. And so I thought like, oh, I don't have an eating disorder. I just like am not reacting well to food. And so like, of course, I'm not going to eat food if it doesn't make me feel well. But then I realized that like, although I was having like a flare up and health issues and a lot of pain, like I was like using that as an excuse and just being lazy because it's like really what your reaction to that happening should be like still eating, you know what I mean? And so I think I thought I was over the ED, but like, it's such a sneaky disease that it was still back there in my head. And it really took me being in the hospital and like them giving me a lot of food to realize like, oh, maybe it's not a past ED, maybe it's still here and maybe it'll still be here forever and I gotta fight this and not be in denial. So I think that was like really when I realized because like I knew I'd had it before, but I just thought I was over it, but it's a hard thing. It's a hard thing to get over. Have you looked into Arfred? Honestly, like I definitely think like it's a lot of Arfred because I think a lot of my behaviors are more Arfred. But when I talked to the psychologist and I talked to him a lot, I don't remember all our conversations because I was pretty sedated and pretty out of it. But he more talked about like more so being severely anorexic. He didn't really touch on Arfred a lot. But I definitely think there's a lot of like Arfred tendencies for sure. Because it's just like, I don't know. It's like when you feel sick, when you eat, you just get so scared of it. And it's so dumb. I mean, it's not that dumb because like you do get sick, but you know, you have to not be scared of food because you need to realize it's survival. And like, you need to find stuff that works for you for sure. And not like run away from it. Because I think... I person I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I have a tendency to like run away from my problems or be like, you know, that's a touchy subject or like, mm, that's a problem I don't want to deal with today. Let's deal with it tomorrow. And then you just like end up avoiding it, but you really have to like face it head on when you have a problem because it makes it so much easier in the long run and then just makes it better. Um, oh, you're helping so many people with this info. Thank you. I hope so. And I hope it really like prevents people from going down that path because honestly like it was like the worst decision I ever made like going down that path like for sure 
And so I always want to make sure like nobody else goes down that path because it's torture. Like it is not fun. It's not cool. And also the thing is like, like when you're thin and like you get to like your goal weight or below your goal weight, like you're not happier. It's like, like, because basically I never meant to lose weight and then it kind of happened and then I got kind of obsessed with it and it's like you think you're going to be happier but like it's you're so not and like I'm so and I like was so much happier like had a normal weight than I was when I was underweight like so much happier for sure how long have you been singing I've been singing since I was like three so I've been singing for a really long time when did you realize you were good at singing? Honestly, like never. <laughs> I never thought I was that good at <laughs> singing, to be honest, but I just loved it. And so I just like kept doing it. And <laughs> yeah, basically <laughs> that's it. <laughs> um, and then I would go for vocal, co like to vocal co coaches and like choir and they would tell me I could sing. And I was like, oh, I may not be the best singer in the world, but I'm okay, right? So let's keep doing it, you know? Um, you're amazing at singing. Oh, thank you. That's so, so sweet. What do you feel when you eat? Sorry, I want to understand. I think I have an overeating problem. Oh, don't worry about overeating. I mean, we all overeat. And also sometimes it's healthy. And sometimes, like, your body's telling you, like, I need that nutrient. So, like, don't feel guilty. And what do I feel when I eat? Honestly, it depends on the food. Sometimes it'll be more, like, throat tickling. Sometimes it'll be like swelling and then other times it'll be like really bad stomach cramps and digestion issues for a while i was even getting like weird shaking and like bloody noses and stuff like that so it honestly depends a lot of edema and like inflammation and just like vein inflammation but i'm working on ways like in like natural remedies to like help those symptoms and also like learning what foods don't trigger me and keep eating those. Do you have any permanent damage? I have osteoporosis. Honestly, I don't know for sure because basically they said like, I still have like a lot of issues, but they're like, let's just get you to like a healthy weight and then see if there's still damage or not. Because it's like, who knows, maybe once I gain more weight and once I'm healthier, maybe all the symptoms will go away and like, we'll be good, which wouldn't that be awesome? That would be, that would be everything. That would be iconic. But then maybe there is permanent damage. I have osteoporosis. I'm so sorry you have osteoporosis. Honestly, I was terrified of getting osteoporosis because like my bones were so weak. So I feel for you. And definitely try to like be careful and have calcium. I've been trying to have a lot of calcium because my calcium was like really low and it was like making my bones hurt. And I hate it when your bones hurt. Are they worried about refeeding? So I got refeeding syndrome which stunk, like, oh, it's just, like, and thank goodness I was monitored, like, thank goodness, um, but, so I'm hoping that I'm over it, um, greetings from Germany, oh, that's so cool, okay, so anyways, I have to go, but thank you so much for joining, I hope you have a great rest of your day, bye, love you.